Hi everyone, I'm Desmond is Amazing, and this is my book, Be Amazing, A History of Pride. And it is about the history of pride and my journey to becoming myself. So let's get started. Hi, my name is Desmond. I'm a drag and LGBT advocate. LGBTQ stands for lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and queer. I live in New York City. We like to where I like to play video games, read, sing, dance, and model. I enjoy going to school and have many friends. When I'm out, uh, not when I'm not being just Desmond, I like to uh, dress up as a character, characters of a different gender. This is called drag. My drag persona is Desmond is amazing. My motto is be yourself always. I can be myself always. I can be myself thanks to my parents who let me be who me, let me be me. And thanks to the very powerful people who make, who, who fought to make it okay for me or anyone like me to be whoever we want to be. I'm lucky that because I most people accept me for who I am. In fact, lots of people think I'm pretty amazing. Some people don't, but you know what I, you know what I always say? Pay the haters no mind, they'll never be as fierce as you and I. In the past, it wasn't always possible possible for people to dress or act or live in any way they want. Throughout history, LGBTQ people have been punished, humiliated, attacked, and discriminated against. They could lose their jobs or be, fo be forced into hospitals or even get arrested just for being who they were. The Stonewall Inn was, was one of the few safe spaces for LGBTQ people in New York City. However, the Stonewall Inn and many places, many other places like it were often raided and shut down by the police as a way to bully the LGBTQ community. On June 28, 1969, police officers raided, invaded the Stonewall Inn, but people were fed up with the way they were being treated, and so they stood their ground. Word quickly spread. For several days, fighting took place at the Stonewall Inn so that as as thousands of people joined in to help support the LGBTQ community. This uprising became known as the Stonewall Riots. The Stonewall Riots were an important turning point in the history of LGBTQ people. They began to openly voice their opinions and fight for equal rights. They formed LGBTQ advocacy groups, published newspapers, and organized parades and marches. In 2009, President Barack Obama declared June LGBT Pride Month. He said the Stonewall Riots were a reason to commit to achieving justice under law for LGBT Americans. We look back on those who took a stand at the Stonewall Riots as heroes who should be celebrated for giving LGBT people like me the freedoms we enjoy today. One of these heroes was Marsha P. Johnson. She was an African-American drag artist, model, and LGBT advocate. Marsha was born Malcolm Michaels Jr. on August 24, 1954 in New Jersey. She enjoyed wearing dresses starting at age five, but her family had difficulty accepting for her for who she was. Marsha moved to New York City on her own after high school. Although Marsha was often homeless and struggling, she was known for being bold, outspoken, and optimistic. When the P in her name, when asked what the P in her name stood for, she always replied, pay it no mind. Marsha's goal was to see gay people liberated and free and to have equal rights that other people have in America. Marsha's friend, Sylvia Rivera, was a Latin, was a Latin American transgender activist who was another hero of the Stonewall Riots. Sylvia was born Ray Rivera on July, tw on July 2nd, 1951 in New York City. From a young age, Sylvia knew she was transgender. Even though she looked like a boy, she felt like a girl inside. At age 11, Sylvia ran away from home and was taken in by the local drag community. In the 70s, Sylvia and Marsha helped found STARS, Street Transgender Action, Action Revolutionaries, one of the first organizers to help homeless transgender youth. Sylvia once said, we have to be visible. We should not be ashamed of who we are. We have to show the world that we are numerous. There are many of us out there. Today, Sylvia's legacy carries on. The Sylvia Rivera Law Project is an organization dedicated to assisting, supporting, training, and providing legal services for transgender and gender nonconforming people of color. On June 28, 1970, the Christopher Street Liberation Day March was held in New York City to commemorate the one-year anniversary of the Stonewall Riots. It was the first LGBTQ Pride event in the United States. 
Thousands of people gathered and marched uptown on 6th Avenue, ending with a gay inn in Central Park Sheet Meadow. The official slogan became, for the event became Pride. L. Craig Schoonmaker, a member of the marching planning committee, said, a lot of people were oppressed they, that they, they were conflicted internally and didn't know how to come out and be proud. That's how the movement was most useful, because they thought, maybe I should be proud. As soon as marches were being held in, as soon marches were being held in other cities in the United States. Today, Pride is celebrated worldwide. In June 20, 2015, I attended New York State's Pride Park March for the first time. I took my time choosing the perfect outfit to wear that would express my personality. I was overjoyed and enthusiastic when I arrived at the march. My parents were sure I only walked only walk a few blocks and want to quit, but I proved them wrong and danced the entire march route. I loved hearing people cheer. There are many smiles and even some happy tears. The next day, I awoke to find out that I had become a viral drag sensation. I've been dressing up in skirts, dresses, and tutus ever since I discovered drag by watching the television show RuPaul's Drag Race. I thought RuPaul and the quest contestants were so beautiful and amazing. Like princesses, I said, I want to do that. My parents allowed me to dress up, uh, allowed me to explore dressing up and creating colorful characters just like RuPaul. RuPaul Andre Charles was born 1970, not, November 17, 1960, in California. He's a drag artist, uh, actor, singer, songwriter, model, and several, and a host of several drag themed television shows. In 2009, RuPaul began producing the television show RuPaul's Drag Race where drag artists compete in wacky challenges to, become th to be crowned the next drag superstar. Unlike Sylvia Rivera, a transgender woman, RuPaul is a man who enjoys dressing up as a character in drag. It doesn't necessarily mean he is transgender, although tran tran transgender people can enjoy doing drag. Anyone can do drag. RuPaul has brought the art of drag and LGBTQ, LGBTQ culture in to the mainstream. He has broken boundaries of what drag looks like and what drag artists can do with their performances. RuPaul's tagline is everybody say love. I can freely be the character Desmond is amazing because of the hard work of generations of people in the LGBTQ community, such as Pepper LaBeja, James Baldwin, Laverne Cox, Miss Major, and Willie Ninja. But there's still work to be done. The next generation of LGBTQ advocates like me are ready to continue to fight for our rights Try for equality and promote acceptance. Whether you love drag like I do, or sports, or science, or art, or computers, or reading, or math, or something else no one's even ever heard of, everyone should be free to feel amazing always. What makes you amazing? 